All right, today's video is going to cover uh, doing Ingram analysis or tokenizing, uh, da data mining, text mining. Do you ever have a batch of data that you want to see what the most common uh, sequence of words um, are being said? Uh, so very often in business, uh, companies will do some text mining to see uh, what survey data or customer calls um, that are uh, they'll, they'll scrape the data that's on the uh, notes of a ticket uh, so they can see what's what's going on, um, aggregate the data, and uh, that's what we're going to cover today using R. So first off, uh, I am in R Studio. I am uh, on session, or, uh, version 3.3.3. I'm a 64-bit Windows 10. Uh, the packages today that we're going to be using are NLP, uh, TM, R Color Brewer, Word Cloud, ggplot2, uh, data.table, R Java, R Weka, and Snowball C. Um, I do want to touch on the fact that the TM package is version 0.6-2. Uh, the newest version uh, currently does um, between the TM and the R Weka um, isn't working, I believe, with the the way the Weka control or the Ingram tokenizer function. Uh, that we will end up using uh, it does not it does not split the ingrams greater than one uh, so let's get started um, so i just want to touch on a couple things the way the data is i have a, a kind of a created a self-curated data set here you know in excel uh, you know some this would something that you might see you have customer id you kind of have some survey notes and then maybe a category um, so, because what what we want today is this one column here. So we're going to be using a term data uh, document matrix and a corpus. Uh, so uh, basically, I ended up saving this as a CSV. So I've got one file promoters, one file detractors. Uh, this in this case study, kind of representing like an NPS survey. Uh, so here we have our folders. And what's great about this script is you can have multiple uh, files in here, and it will aggregate all the data in, in all of the files um for you so you could have multiple csvs in in that directory all right so let's go ahead and let's go ahead and run our uh, just fyi uh for the r java package make sure that you have the 64-bit version uh of uh, java so i'm uh, setting my environment variable here um the path all right so we're going to run this Go ahead and get that going. We're setting our working directory where um, the files are going to be. Um, run this corpus. As you can see, we've got one file. Uh, here, I'm using the TM package to strip white space, um, make all words lowercase, uh, removing stop words like A and the. Uh, um, for this example, let's take that out. We're going to remove punctuation and and this right here, remove words. Uh, we're going to come back to this once we run this the first time, and then I'll show you an example of uh, if you once you take a look at the data and do some exploration, uh, why you would want to remove something, uh, and then you can come back here and uh, we'll we'll remove that. So here here's our function that's going to this ingram tokenizer and this term document matrix. Uh, this this is where the the heavy lifting is being done. So we're going to run this. Uh, I'm, and then right here is where I'm, I'm I'm parsing out the data and getting it uh, ready to, uh, I guess, put it in a data-friendly manner that will allow me to graph it and use it in a word cloud. All right. We're going to run this. And then, so this, this is our first file. This is promoters. So this was the first CSV uh, that, I, that I exported. And I'm doing the exact same thing, but for detractors. So I have another folder called detractors. Uh, so it's basically creating two, two data sets and in the end, we're gonna combine, we're gonna merge that data set together. Uh, so we're gonna run this and I'll, I'll have this script out on professorpitch.com uh, on a blog post that you'll be able to just copy and paste. Um, that way it'll save you some time. So let's go ahead and run this. Um, down here, doing the same thing. And then right here is where I'm merging. So I have my two data sets. Uh, that I'm using. It's the Detractors 3, Promoters 3, as you can see up here in my uh, my data window under my global environment. Um, we've got you know 30 um, or so um, variables, or I guess attributes or entries. 
Uh, so let's go ahead and merge this. We're going to call that NPS data. And here's our output. So I've got uh, one ggplot, kind of a bar graph. Um, we're going to run this. And as you can see over in my uh, plots window, you can see John was the most common two, basically two word combination was John was uh, the store. So right now looking at this, if, if we we're trying to see what's being said by the customers who promote us the most, um, right now we're not getting much other than uh, you see the word was a lot. Um, we'll go ahead and run the detractors, people who do not like us. Uh, and here it's starting to make a little sense. You can see, you know, store closed, needs to be open, looks like the, the hours of the particular store in question um, was, wasn't was open when most customers wanted to visit it. Store closed on Sundays, open later, need need better. Some of this you know, it doesn't quite make sense, uh, and, that, and that's to be expected. All right, so now th this right here is building the word cloud. So we'll go ahead and just run this. And you can get a, a, a quick idea of, you know, like I said, John was. So we, we've got our color coded. Um, it's, it's using the merge data set. Uh, customer service was good. The store, customer service. All right, so now, like I said before, uh, one of the issues with the promoter data set is the word was. Um, we do not want that to come in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this. YouTube, and uh, we're going to replace it as a base, uh, remove words for was. So now let's go ahead and re rerun this block of code for the promoters. All right, now we're going to go back down. Uh, I already have it in my detractors. Um, that's why you didn't see it there. And let's go ahead and repopulate the NPS merge data set. And let's, let's run this ggplot. And voila, looks a much, much better output. Customer service is good. So people are enjoying the customer service. John was very friendly, great customer service. Um, so you can see the word great and starting to appear a lot here. So if you wanted to remove great as well as was, you can uh, do that as well coming up here by separating it with a comma. And uh, let's, let's uh, repopulate the word cloud. And now we, now we got a little bit more manageable word cloud. Uh, it's looking more red, uh, but you can see the size of the words are, are based on the frequency of that combination. Uh, so this is, this is very helpful. Um, yeah, like I said, guys, if, if you want to copy the code, you can visit professorpitch.com. Uh, there will be a blog post out there that walks you through each line and explains the, the code. Um, and uh, thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, put them down below. You guys have a, a great day.